treat called the Lady Hypnotist is known as one of the top live comedy hypnotists in the country. Mariana Matthews has performed on stages from coast to coast, garnering legions of new fans with her truly stunning show. So please welcome back to New Day, that Lady Hypnotist, Mariana Matthews. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How does this come about? I mean, it's one thing to hypnotize people, but then to combine it with comedy. What does that mm -hmm. mean? Oh, well, it, it it's actually, it's my passion. It's being able to do what I love, but to laughter, right the, right now, there's what we call an epidemic, or what uh, some of us call an epidemic of FDD, which means fun deficit disorder. Yes, there probably uh, is that. You know, I don't know when's the last time most people have laughed so hard that, you know, that their stomach hurts or that they have uh, tears rolling down their eyes. And the thing is, when we laugh, it, it does so many great things to our body. It all the... Um, the neurons in your body and and the chemicals and the hormones that it that it makes that just make you feel better and yeah so a lot of people are afraid okay if i get hypnotized i'll be made to do foolish things and i don't want to be made fun of so that's not what we're talking about is it we're not talking about that even though i am a comedy stage hypnotist um but they are, I invite people to come up that want to come up, number one, mm -hmm. uh, that volunteer. They're not gonna do anything that are really against their morals or ethics. They know that when they come up, we're gonna have fun. Uh, but I do my best to make sure that people don't uh, feel bad or feel embarrassed okay. afterwards. You yeah. are also a certified hypnotherapist. What, Correct. what does that mean? How, and how do these two things differ? Okay, as, as a comedy stage hypnotist, it is more for entertainment. Um, so, but as a therapist or what I like to be called a, a uh, hope coach, mm -hmm. uh, it's helping people to, giving them the tools and reaching where they need to go, solving, uh, to have the best life that they can. Getting rid of bad habits or instilling more confidence. I guess, so many different ways that we can help people. I yeah. keep thinking about the movie Get Out right now. Yeah. <laughs> that the whole hypnosis yeah, no, no, no. thing is scaring me to death. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, that's, that is true. That's where everybody sees it, and that's why they have the wrong impression of what hypnosis is. So is everybody susceptible to being hypnotized? Everyone. Everyone goes into hypnosis or into trance, different levels of trance every day. Some just take longer than others. Now, I've seen you do this before. Mm -hmm. You did mm -hmm. this on the air with us, but you also did it backstage with one of my coworkers yes. who's like a super straight arrow, not somebody that was, you know, chosen for some particular purpose. And I was really quite amazed. I didn't even know that was really truly possible. What is happening when people go under? I, I, first of all, I call it going into, not under. Okay, going <laughs> yes, into. Yes, yes. Um, but what is happening is there's there's a part of the brain that, that we call, the thinking process, it's called the critical facu faculty. Uh, or critical factor, and when when you go into hypnosis, uh, then that that part uh, kind of opens up and allows the um, your subconscious mind to step forward. Your conscious mind is a part that's very logical and and can say no, stop this, mm -hmm. or where the subconscious mind is open and sees everything and hears everything that goes on, and sometimes it gets that information and uses it in the wrong way, even though it thinks it's doing the best it can for you. Well, we're gonna see a demonstration of this. Yes. Beth is waiting for you. She is an audience member today, and she has a tiara on because it is her birthday week. Not That's her right. birthday, yes. but the <laughs> birthday week. So Mariana, go, yes. go on right. over if you All would. All right. Thank you, Beth, for being willing yes. to volunteer. Thank you, Beth. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, so I think I need to be this way. Is there that you correct? go. Okay. Beth, I, I have to say that I have hypnotized Beth before, and each time you get hypnotized, you'll go faster and deeper. So, nice to see you, Beth, and happy birthday. Thank you. And you know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna be all about laughter and fun, okay? Because laughter and fun just makes us feel so good. So in just a moment, what I'm gonna do, let's take off your glasses, if I may. Sure. All right. And sleep all the way down. Good. Deeper and deeper. Now, I said sleep. She's not really asleep. Whoa, there we go. That's right, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper you go. Good, and what we're gonna do, Beth, I know that you aren't feeling too well, but we also know that when people feel better, they get better faster. And one of the ways to do that is through laughter. And that's what we talked about, that we don't have enough laughter and fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lift your arm up and this is going to be as if it is a lever for fun and giggles. This is your giggle monitor right here. And as your arm drops very slowly, you'll start to laugh and laugh 
And the deeper it goes, the more you'll giggle and laugh and feeling it all the way from your stomach. And now, starting now, can you feel that going into your stomach? Laughing and laughing. You can go ahead and sit up with your eyes still closed. Feel that? Yeah, does that feel good? Ah, feel that laughter coming on? It's as if, as if you're watching a movie, a funny movie, the funniest movie you've ever, ever seen. The funniest movie you've ever seen, Beth, yeah? Yes. <laughs> and laughing out loud even further and further. And the more, the more you laugh, the louder and better you feel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The louder and better you feel. And as that monitor goes down, as that lever, that laugh lever goes down, you'll laugh harder and harder. It's kind of that belly laugh that feels so good. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? Good. All right. And in just a moment, I'm going to let your arm drop down. And when it does, you'll go all the way down. One, two, three, and sleep all the way down. Good. In a moment, I'm going to count to three. When I do, you're going to sit up, eyes wide open, mind feeling clear. That's right. And remember, the better you feel, the better and faster you'll heal. One, two, and three. Sitting up, feeling good. How are you doing? Mm. Mm. Good. All Do right. Do you know what yes. you just did? Uh, I think I laughed. You yeah. did laugh. <laughs> you think sort you of. Left. <laughs> With the cold, it's kind of like, you know, funky. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, too. Yes, uh, thank there you, you go. I'm thank just, you. I'm speechless. Thank yes, you. Thank, thank you. you. I am too, I thank think. you again. <laughs> All right. We appreciate it. So, okay. Mariana's next event is the Hearts and Humor Show on Saturday, February 24th at the Living Room Coffee House in Marysville. We've linked more information online, including how to book her for your next event. Still ahead today, a new exhibit at the Northwest African American Museum encourages civic engagement through art. We're going to meet the artist after this quick break. Yeah.